But let's go to the video clip. Let's make sure I do this well. It's a very short clip. Warby Parker, a couple of Wharton guys that got together, graduated an MBA, opened what is a very profitable eyewear company, and all of you that are using it probably love it just like many of us do. So let's go to the video clip and let's try on a pair of glasses together with Warby Parker. I love this Warby Parker virtual try-on app. This looks so realistic. This is so fun that you can try on the glasses. I feel like they're actually on me now. It's like I actually have them on my face. I'm obsessed. Okay, so that's an example of, of one, you know, one example of how we're building in in this case, uh, AR directly into the sales process to help sell. Let's go to the next example, which is more on the marketing side. And I said, I've already alluded to this, I'm gonna bring up a Lockheed Martin video. It's a little longer than the other one, but it's still worth listening to and the impact that the whole AR has helped and MR has helped in helping them to sell to various uh, and market their effectiveness to various uh, buyers. So let's go back to the videotape. And let's pull up Lockheed Martin, and let's give it a go. So imagine, you know, you're crawling inside a spacecraft, and you're trying to uh, do the work. The last thing you need is, is to have to carry paper or tablets or laptops into the environment. Being able to have the data readily available without having to hold on to anything is significant. I'm Shelly Peterson. My role is Principal Investigator for Augmented and Mixed Reality at Lockheed Martin. We work with Orion, which is NASA's spacecraft that will take astronauts out to the moon and even into deeper space, such as Mars. On the Orion spacecraft, there's 57,000 fasteners. And normally the technicians would have to measure to know where to place those fasteners. With mixed reality, they put on the device they see the digital version of the fastener hovering over the surface. They know exactly where to place it. When we do this, we save about 90% of the touch labor. We take an eight hour activity of marking locations and they finish it in 45 minutes. Or an eight shift activity they can complete in six hours. It also uh, reduces the potential for errors because the instruction is just so clear when they see it overlaid on the structure in front of them. Over the last two plus years, we've used um, the HoloLens on the shop floor. We haven't had one error, and that's significant. It's just pretty powerful. It takes uh, what we think of as a laptop or computing to the next level. It feels like magic. Okay, so that's just a wonderful example. And you heard what her title was. She's Principal Investigator for AR and Mixed Reality. But, you know, when you bring tasks down from eight hours to 45 minutes, these are significant advances. So that's on the marketing side. So that when they sell and market their services, people think they're really on top of their game. 